what is happening beautiful people so you all know us at this long if you're watching this vlog for the first time welcome my name is Amin. today is tuesday it's boxing day guys and nope i didn't go anywhere to the sales i didn't buy anything online because i didn't need anything for those of you that are in the lineups today you know what congrats to you man it's probably the absolute zoo it's something i do not want to participate in i spent quite a few years in the retail business you know when i was younger working at uh you know part-time jobs and stuff and this was the worst day of the year i'll be honest with you guys nothing much is happening today man i'm just gonna be chilling today day off not much is going on um both products on amazon are on sale today um i got put on a special price for them had one sale in canada which is encouraging and i just finished up uh, the ppc campaign for the US one that actually just got checked in today so I'm not sure what's gonna happen I'm gonna reach out to some people um, and see if uh, people are willing to buy the product you know what I mean so I'll keep you guys posted on that but this is it this is crunch time for this product I'm hoping I can uh, sell it and make some money out of it if I can I'll continue with it if not I'm gonna basically ax it move on to something else so I'll keep you like I said I'll keep you guys posted on the progress on that hopefully in the next couple weeks some sales start trickling in and hopefully, like I said, make a profit out of it. But for now, I'm just chilling out, guys. Guys are gonna come over in a little bit. We're gonna have some leftover turkey. Just hang out, not much is going on today, guys. So I'm telling you now, today's vlog is probably gonna be blah. So fam, it's almost uh, the end of the day here. I'm just winding down the night. And um, it was actually a really good day for me on Amazon. Uh, good in the sense of I was getting some sales. Nothing crazy on the Canadian site. Um, I had about four sales today where I actually made some money, which is good. What I did was I took the listing and did like a Boxing Day special, changed the tag to say Boxing Day special in big bold letters, letters and I took like, you know, 10% off. And you can see that when you go to the listing. And people started buying. I've got ads going as well. And right now, with the ads, with my ACOS, I'm making money. On the US side of things, I actually had a few sales as well. Again, nothing crazy. I think it was a total of six. Um, but right now, I'm barely breaking even. Um, the A cost with the ads is really high right now. It's like almost 36% or something like that. And um, I put, again, I did a Boxing Day special as well. Reduced the price um, where I'm like barely making the money. So I'm making money, but then with uh, the money I'm spending on PPC, it kind of breaks even, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna run that and see how that goes. Uh, hopefully things will work out and I'll jack the price up um, later on, probably in about a week or two, once kind of like this whole Boxing Day or Boxing Week stuff goes away. I'm gonna ride it out to the week, probably flick it back, flip it back on Sunday to regular pricing. But it's good, man. Like I'm hoping the Canadian side of things smooth out. I'll have an idea. Uh, what kind of numbers I'll be selling a month. I have some inventory already made. I've paid for it. It's sitting there in the warehouse overseas, so it's ready to ship. And, you know, because I paid for it, they're like, don't worry about it. You know what, we'll hold it for you, So, which is really nice. So once I get to a point where I'm like, you know, I can see consistent sales a day, I'm going to fire the trigger and get that over into the warehouse ASAP. I'm not going to go like it last time and be out for like, whatever it was, 60 days, I wanna be out for maybe like two, three weeks at the most, you know what I mean? So we'll see, I'm gonna see how this week ends up. And then if I'm consistently doing like, you know, 10 sales a day, like my goal is, I'm gonna fire the trigger and get that, get that in right away and pay for the shipping. That's the goal for that. So I'll keep you guys posted on that, but it's exciting times, man, like I said, come in January, I'm gonna go all in and just go guns blazing and try to make a real business out of this. But yeah, now my friends are gonna come over, we're gonna sit down, watch some TV, have some food, have some leftover turkey, have some drinks, and just, you know, end the night off on a strong note. So fam, it's like 11, 15-ish or so. I'm just winding down the night, gonna shut down, get the shower, get to bed. Tomorrow is uh, Wednesday, is my first day back, which is awesome. Um, it'll be a relatively calm day, I think. Nothing's gonna be too major because typically what happens is Monday, Tuesday's off, they'll take Wednesday, Thursday, Friday off. Some people will, uh, and which means, you know, no one's gonna be around. But uh, we'll see how that goes. But I've noticed before in the past that this week is typically slow. First week of January is when things are going to start picking up. I'm going to meet the guys for lunch tomorrow. Uh, usual Chinese spot. Looking forward to that, man. Some good eats and stuff. On the Amazon side of things, I think the day ended off relatively decent. Uh, I mean, on the Canadian side of things, um, you know, I started PPC, which is the ads, uh, about a week ago. I'll give another day or two before I start downloading the report and analyzing it, see what I can tune and what I can fix. 
And then on the US side of things, I only started PPC uh, today because the shipment went in today. So it's, I need at least seven to 10 days to kind of go through it. And again, I'm not an expert, man, by a long shot. I just follow a bunch of YouTubers um, that are experts and went through the training, you know, kind of a, took that training, applied applied it to, uh, you know, to my product and we'll see what happens. You know, once I kind of go through it and figure it out, I'll kind of, I'll do some videos on how to do that. But again, I'm no expert, man. I mean, I totally messed up Q4 because of um, stuff I didn't know about, stuff I wasn't prepared for. Um, you know, like I've only been doing PL in 2017, really. Um, and even then, it was such a huge learning curve for me because I've never done it before, you know? By the time I got my product in the first time, by the time I could pull my money out to, um, you know, prepare for Q4, I just, I couldn't keep up. So hopefully next year, and I got six months to, you know, figure my shit out, I'll be better prepared. And that's the whole point. I think of 2018 is gonna be mentally prepared, perfecting systems and making sure that everything works. And I'll have, you know, better better idea of how things, especially with my inventory, like I'm really useless with my inventory right now because again, it's only the second time I put my shipment through. So now I'll have a better idea of how things are gonna work. Also as well, I gotta start looking at some other stuff I wanna do, um, try to lock down some more wholesale accounts and go on that. I'll worry about that next year. Like I said, right now, I just want to focus on what's inside Amazon right now. Figure out in the next couple of weeks what I need to do. Do I need to reorder or pull the plug because it's not making any money? That's the goal right now. So guys, like I said, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Hopefully it'll be nice. It's supposed to snow another five centimeters or something tomorrow. We'll see. Um, because it's freaking cold outside. It's like, it's like none of the snow has dissipated yet, so. I don't know, we'll see what happens tomorrow. What I want to say if you're watching the vlog for the first time, you know, thank you very much, I appreciate it. Please subscribe to the family if you want to see more vlogs just like this. Please click on down the sky. Of course, to my peeps, be you, stay optimistic, enjoy the rest of your night. It's a big high five for me to all of you.